What's going on, everyone? This is your boy, Rome, back with DFS Greatness, man. Hope everybody having a good Sunday, man. Hey, man, we got some great games today, man. Bulls and Toronto Raptors game, if y'all looking for it, it's postponed for COVID, man. I don't know. Maybe some more players test, um, tested positive for COVID. But I know um, Pascal Siakam, he, he has COVID, I guess. So that game has been canceled. So that's game off the slate, man. Um, also, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Um, like the page, man. Share it, man. If you feel like this video is helpful, share it to one of your friends. Also, um, if you need help, man, you can DM me on Twitter, DFS Greatness on Twitter. And there's a comment section, man. Put your favorite play in the comment section, man. You know, let's get to it. Uh, first game of the slate. This game right here is kicking off at um, 2.40 Central Time, man. You got the Los Angeles Clippers going against the Milwaukee Bucks, man. This is going to be a great game, man. I'm, I'm taking um, – I'm not an over and under guy, but I'm going with the over for this one. Sitting at 235 and a half total, man. Um, if I had to lean, lean with a team, man, if you're going to give me one point with the um, Clippers, let me get the Clippers um, – with the point and get the Clippers on the money line, man. If you want to also, a lot of people on FanDuel for the same game parlay. How long is FanDuel going to keep doing the same game parlay, man? They getting ate up with the money. I know people killing them. But um, one of my favorite plays I like today, I like Serge Ibaka over 10 and a half points. And I like um, Middleton, man, for the um, Walker to keep his game closed, man. Middleton have to go over 20 and a half points. And another guy you want to look at today, man, um, also, Nicholas Batoon over seven and a half points. I think he should better go over that one. And um, also, man, you got another um, a guy I like also is um, Paul George, man, over 24 and a half points. I, love, I like the over for that one. It's one of my favorite plays. I like that a lot for Paul George. And if you want to look at Patrick Beverly, over three and a half um, rebounds, um, I like the over for that one also. And that's about it, man. I'm used to got Kawhi Leonard sitting at 28 and a half points. He should be able to go over there, well, man. It's gonna be a high scoring game, fast paced game. And um, let's check out DraftKings. Serge Ibaka, same thing, 10 and a half over. Middleton sitting at 28 and a half. Um, Batum, seven and a half. Um, a lot of these um, plays from DraftKings and FanDuel is identical today. I mean, I always like to compare, man. I'm feeling Paul George over 24 and a half, man. I know Paul George going to snap. And that's about it for this game right here. Next game. This game is an early game, man. It's an early game right here. Um, you got Washington against Boston Celtics, man. This is a good game today, man. This game right here sitting there, 233 total. Uh, the Wizards, I mean, the Boston Celtics favored by six and a half, man. Um, one thing about the Wizards, man, they're on a back-to-back. -back. I don't like betting on them on back-to-back, -back, man. They usually play pretty bad. But if I had to take a guy today, man, um, I like Roger Homora over 13 and a half points. And I definitely like um, Westbrook for double-double. I like that a lot today. I definitely see him getting a double-double. I'll see nothing wrong with that one. And um, if I had to go look at a guy today, man, you got um, Westbrook. I would keep telling you he's over 0 0.5 three-pointers, man. I like that a lot for Westbrook. Yeah, man, um, if you want to look at your stat, rush on more points, rebounds, and assists, man. I always like the over for that one. He's like 23 and a half. I mean, it's pretty early, man. A lot of these stats are not up right now. Um, I don't have that much Boston Celtics information right now. But um, if you see Kimball Walker at 18 and a half, 19 and a half, I like the over for that one, man. Jason Tatum has been playing pretty bad, man. But um, if I have to take a bet today uh, with a team, man, I'm definitely going to lean towards um, Washington Wizards. With the six and a half, I know they're on the back to back, man. But um, I just feel like you know they are the better team today. I think they should be able to, to get the win, man. And that's about it for that game, man. I'm, I'm gonna lean towards the Wizards, man. I'm gonna lean towards the Wizards a lot in this game, man. And another game, you got the Atlanta Hawks going against the Miami Heat, man. This game sitting at two twenty and a half total. Um, I'm going to take Miami Heat first half, and I'm going to take uh, Miami Heat on a money line, man. Both these teams have um, a day off for, a, a day off the rest. So, I'm definitely – I know the rest will make a big difference.
Um, if I'm have to take one of these games, man, I'm definitely leaning towards the Heat, man. The Heat has been playing um, terrific basketball. Prop bets I'll have to take for this game. Um, I'm loving Jimmy Butler, man, double-double. Um, the stats not up as early um, for him, but um, if I had to take a prop for Jimmy Butler, it's usually over eight and a half uh, assists or rebounds. I like the old for that one. Also, um, easy prop. I want to go with Bam Bio double-double. And another guy you want to go with for Atlanta game, Clint Capella double double man. This should be a good game right here, man. Um, Atlanta, they just one thing I said about Atlanta, they just so hit or miss. You just really don't know which Atlanta you're gonna get, man. You're gonna get a good Atlanta, you're gonna get the bad Atlanta, man. But like majority of the time, we've been getting the bad Atlanta. Atlanta has has not been playing good at all. That's one thing I'm I'm, I'm real worried about for Atlanta tonight, man. But um, yeah, man, Jimmy Butler is my favorite player I like tonight, and um. I was on Kendrick um, Nunn earlier a lot, man, but um, since Drogic came back, it has changed the game plan for the team. But um, I know um, injury news, Tyler Hero, I don't know if he's going to play tonight. I know Tyler Hero is still a little bit questionable. Um, yeah, he's questionable today, man. And also, yeah, Bam Mabayo, he's probable, so he should be able to play. And that's about it, major in the injury news, Tyler Hero. And I think everybody should be good to go for Atlanta. You know, Daniel Gallinale, he's questionable. Cam Reddish, he's out. Trey Young is questionable for Sunday game, man. If Trey Young don't play, you definitely can cash with the Miami Heat with the minus six points because uh, Miami Heat should be able to blow him out without Trey Young. You got to keep an eye on that for injury news. And also, um, that's about it with that one, man. Yeah, man, I'm going with the Miami Heat for this game. Next game right here, man, you got the Memphis Grizzlies going against the Houston Rockets, man. The way Houston Rockets has been playing, they've been playing terrible. I'm going to have to lean towards Memphis Grizzlies, minus three and a half, and Memphis Grizzlies on the money line. And uh, I just feel like right now, man, they don't have no true center. You got Vanna Chunez, double-double. I love that for him tonight because I feel like nobody will be able to stop him. But um, if I had to go look at a guy, man, points rise, um, John Morant going against John Wall at 19 and a half on FanDuel. I like that over for that one. And John Morant over his rebounds, three and a half. Yeah, just I don't know what's going on with the Houston Rockets, man. It looked terrible. It looked terrible. And another guy you want to look at for three-pointers on FanDuel, Dylan Brooks over 1.5 three-pointers. And Vanna Chunez, uh, his rebounds is up to 13 and a half. But um, he's going to be in the paint, man. Um, he's going against a little bitty um, Tuck, P.J. Tucker. He should better get over them rebounds. And Vanna Chunez, his points is 17 and a half. Man, I like the over for him with his points, man, because he always big time score in the paint. And uh, they lean on him a lot, man, to get the job done. And um, and our guy been playing a lot too, man. Cal Anderson over 12 and a half points. I like that a lot, man. Same Fanduel and DraftKings and Morant, man. I love Morant for nine, over 19 and a half points. I just feel like he's in a good matchup. He should be able to do it, man. Um, that's about it with Dell, man. I'm leaning towards Memphis Grizzlies today, man. Also, man, you see this, man. Vanderbilt got a win yesterday, man. Nashville boy, man. Got to rock with the Commodores. <laughs> I know y'all see it, but um, yeah, that's about it for that game right here. Um, next game, man, you got the New York Knicks going against the um, Boston. I'm going against the Detroit Pistons. Game sitting at 211 um, total. 211 and a half total, man. Hey, how about them Knicks, man? Hey, I told you guys, you guys yesterday, go get the Knicks, man. Um, they fa um, they favored by one. It's early. It'll probably changed by the end of the day, man. Let me get New York, New York Knicks minus one. And New, New York Knicks on the money line, man. Uh, I'm telling you, man, New York is playing fantastic basketball right now. You know, I, you can't really say nothing about them, New York, man. They playing as a team. They playing pretty good right now. But uh, if I had to go look at a prop that I'm going to rock with today, um, R.J. Berry on 14 and a half, man. He had a good game last game. Definitely like that, man. Um, also, Jeremy Grant rebounds is four and a half last time. We're at the five and a half. I'm, I'm definitely feeling that a lot. And um, you got Derrick Rose over 16 and a half points, man. I, I'm feeling that for Derrick Rose, too. Um, for this game to be close, Jeremy Grant has to go over 23 and a half points for Jeremy Grant. I'm definitely feeling that, man. And Julius Randle, man, double-double machine. I like that, man. Julius Randle had a good game last night. They haven't gave him no respect. His points sitting at 22 and a half, man. I like the over for that one. Definitely like the over. And I'm Derrick Rose, man. Did you see this guy assisting yesterday, man? He went crazy with the assists. Because it's prop now. For Derrick Rose, prop right now, it's going to be...
Derrick Rose assists. Sitting at five and a half. I like the over for that one, man. That's an easy cash. Yeah, man, that's about it for this game, man. Hey, Detroit, man, they look, I mean, um, New York is looking good, man. Look like a playoff team, man. If you want to put a bet in for them to make the playoffs, go ahead and put your money in right now. They should better make the, make the playoffs out of the East. I just don't feel like nobody stopping them from making the playoffs. You know, they're playing good basketball, playing as good, good as a team, man. Um, You got Derrick Rose looking good, man. Julius Randle, man, this team playing with heart, and they're not giving up, man. Easy props for this game, man. Julius Randle, man, with his points, man. And even look at um Jeremy Grant. That's what I'm rocking with today, man. Definitely like that. Let's go on to this next game right here, man. Um, you got do, 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 do. Golden State Warriors going against the Los Angeles Lakers. Game sitting at 220 and a half total, man. Um, the Lakers are favored by three. Don't know why they favor. Lakers been playing terrible lately, man. It's crazy since they haven't had Anthony Davis, how they've been playing, been playing terrible. But um, if I have to go look at some props, man, the props I'm going to have to rock with today, man, um, I had Kyle Kuzma other night over 11 and a half points, man. He burnt me. Watch today. He go over those 11 and a half points. Also, man, Draymond Green with the assist sitting at 10 and a half, man. I love it. Draymond Green, man, he almost hit triple double in the first quarter. Just crazy. Uh, Stephen Curry over 29 and a half points. I love to like the over for that one, man. I like that a lot. Kelly Oubre, man. This guy been playing like out of his mind. Over 17 and a half points. Let's get it. Over. And um, Montrez Harrell, man, with the second, you know, six and a half rebounds, I like it, man. Draymond Green, six and a half rebounds, over. He don't, he don't cash over the last few times, man. And Draymond Green with the point seven and a half, I like the old for that one. And Mama had to lean with a team, man. If you're going to give me three points, man, with a Golden State Warriors team that's playing good basketball, I like Golden State Warriors plus three, and I like Golden State Warriors on the money line. I think they should be able to beat the Lakers, man. I mean, Lakers beat one last game, man. LeBron went off, but, you know. And also, if you want to look at double doubles, Draymond Green, and maybe a triple double, if you want to put a little money on triple double for Draymond Green, I'm not saying he's going to get the triple double, but that's just out there right now, man. Let's get to the next game. Phoenix Suns going to get Minnesota Timberwolves game center at 220, um, 225 total, man. If you're going to get, uh, let me get the Suns first half minus the, um, maybe five and a half first half, and I'm going to get them to win the game. I'm going to get them, I'm going to take 10 and a half. They should be able to beat Minnesota by more than 10 and a half, man, because Minnesota. It's trash right now, man. Fire the coach. Don't know what they don't got no. They don't know what's going on right now. But um, if I had to go with a prop for this game, man, Devin Booker points is twenty six and a half. I'm scary because it could be a blowout. But um, a guy I want to get with, man, Mikael Bridges over twelve and a half points. He's so suspect, man. You, I play him. He won't do nothing if I don't play him. He snap. But definitely like him tonight and um, um, Towns over ten and a half rebounds. I think he should be able to get that, man. And also, um, Chris Paul, man, with the assists over eight and a half. I love it, man. Chris Paul, not looking to take the shots. He's just looking to, looking for the open man. And DeAndre Aiden, I like him also for the rebounds over 11 and a half rebounds. He should be able to get this, man. I think this game will be close until maybe like the third quarter because um, really that's all they have. You want to look at props with like Chris Paul, one and a half, three pointers, and Mikael Breeze are one and a half, three pointers. Both of those guys are three point shooters. I definitely like that for those props, man. You can throw them in the same game probably on FanDuel. And um, mostly DraftKings. I think Devin Booker points is a little bit different on DraftKings than FanDuel. It's a yeah, it's about a point difference, 25 on DraftKings, man. See, like I tell you guys, you're going to look at both sites and you want to compare prices and everything. That's what most of the time I'm doing. And um, DeAndre Aiden. Yeah, Chris Paul points is a little 16 and a half on fan on DraftKings. Sometimes DraftKings prices are a little bit cheaper than FanDuel, man. I always want to compare prices, man. And that's about it for this um for this game right here. The last game of the night, man. You got the Charlotte Hornets going against the Sacramento Kings, man. Game sitting at a 238 and a half total. And um Sacramento is favored by one point. And I, I like the Charlotte Hornets in this game right here, man. They um, plus one, and I like them on the money line. I think the Charlotte's a better team. Should be able to get the job done, man. But if I had to um, look at some more right now for points wise, I like Lamelo Ball, man. Um, his points went up to nineteen and a half. I like him a lot tonight in this matchup. And um, also another prop I like: Gordon Hayward over three and a half um, assists. And scary Terry Rozier, man. He had a bad game last game, but he should bounce back over 21 and a half. I'm loving that for him. And Gordon Hayward over one and a half three pointers. I like the old for that one. If we're gonna look at stat, man, this guy been playing out of his mind, man. Um, De'Aaron De De um, De Fox, man. 
Also, a stat I've been looking at Darren Fox all the time is with his assists. Darren Fox assists has been stupid, man. Like, this guy been having over eight and nine assists a game. Right now, assists on FanDuel is nine and a half. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not messing with that one. It's a little bit too high, but it was like seven and a half, eight and a half. I would touch it or six and a half, but I just feel like it's just too high right now. Um, that's about it for stats wise. That I like from this game right here, man. I think it's gonna be a good game, man. I, I, I think they should be able to get it. And um, you want to get look at guys like PJ Washington. That's another guy you want to look at. If you want to go with him over um, PJ Washington, eleven and a half points, and Gordon Hayward on twenty one and a half. And this guy right here with Sean Holmes, double double upside, man. We're gonna look at him. He definitely been putting up that work. Um, this is about it for this video, man. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, you like the page, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm out. Good luck, everyone. Like the page. Let's get the 200 likes off this video, man. This video is a little bit long, man, but I break every game down for you guys. I don't nitpick how some guys just like, I don't know about this game. I just give you my honest opinion, and that's what I'm supposed to do, man. At the end of the day, this is your boy Ron back with DFS Greatness, man. I won't be on the show tomorrow. My host will um, do the show for the week, man. Got a lot going on at work. But until next time, I'm out. Man, good luck, everyone. Follow me on Twitter, DFS Greatness on Twitter. Until next time, I'm out, man. Good luck, man. Let's get to this bag.